Aaron Yeager. The eighth episode of Digimon Ghost Game, Nightly Procession of Monsters, was a fun, enjoyable and tense episode. This was an episode in which we saw the return of Digimon we have seen before in previous seasons, such as Adventure, both original and reboot, as well as Data Squad, such as Metal Phantomon, who is a digivolved form of Phantomon, who was one of Myotismon's minions in the 8th Child arc in the original Digimon Adventure series back in 1999. Metal Phantomon as a Digimon is one that I have always seen as one who could be perfect to Digivolve into the D-Reaper, who was the final villain in Digimon Tamers, that the third series of the Digimon anime franchise, as he was triggering the nightmares of Yoshi and Thomas Norstein in the series Digimon Data Squad. I love this Digimon and was also a fan of Phantomon back in the day when I first saw him in the original Digimon adventure. We also saw other Digimon being involved in the race, in which the three main chosen of the series were involved in, including Ruli, who was probably the main player in this episode. One of these Digimon included Unimon, who was shown in a flashback taking part in a race in an episode of the 2020 adventure reboot. Even though all the faces returned, we saw an anime debut for System on CL, who was originally created as a localization for the Digimon Hacker's Memory video game. I really liked the design of this Digimon and liked the character that this Digimon portrayed in this particular episode. The plot of this episode was based on the calamity going on over the last two weeks, which ended with the Digimon and the three chosen taking part in a death race. Ruli was very central in the development of this episode as she was one who decided on going go-karting for a fun activity and she played a crucial role in the fight with the antagonists who were key in turning a fun race between friends into a death race. At the start we saw the car lamity involving driverless cars crashing and burning on the motorway and this was a product of System on CL and this was the Digimon who summoned Metal Phantomon who took this race on the go-karting track to the next level by manipulating Digimon, including the three main protagonist Mons by branding them with a small school red dot on their foreheads and also vaud those who either overtook him or pulled out of the race. It was a bit odd for me to see the return of Vor in this episode as Vor was very central in the last series of Digimon, that being the adventure reboot of 2020. The rules of this race was actually drawn by System on CL, so she was very central in this race by not just summoning another evil Digimon, but also drawing the rules of this race, which were being set out by Metal Phantomon. The race had to go on until dawn, as the evil Digimon's causing of a calamity were occurring during the night time. Ruli then stepped up and took on these evil Mon by applying her tactics, which led to a Mon-on-Mon -on -mon fight between Sister Mon Fiel and Metal Phantomon. And she was one who also took Sister Mon Ciel's cart, which was deemed as the special machine. This was a bit of a departure from earlier episodes of this season, as instead of having the usual all talk no jutsu, we have had now the tactics no jutsu, which I found quite interesting. This shows something which makes Digimon interesting, as each season has its own thing going for it, and its own thing which is a departure from other seasons of the franchise. As in the case of Ghost Game, it is all about words and thoughts rather than fighting mono mon. In the end, the Digimon were banished into a digital world, and we saw the return of Black Gatomon, who we saw in episode one, who sent these Digimon into the digital world. So hopefully, this could mean we get some plots in the future. I thought that this was a good episode, and maybe with Black Gatomon returning, we can see more development in the plot, and it possibly could be the case as we see the return of Clockmon, who also was in episode one next week. As much as it was a good episode, there is still caution with this season, and my mind can change quickly on this episode if the plot is not developed quick enough, or there is no explanation on the whole on what is going on with all these Digimon and why we have Digimon here in the first place and why there is chaos every week. To be frank, one of my frustrations at the moment is that I can't tell what is the plot and where the plot is going. 
as it did feel for me a bit more obvious when I was watching Adventure, let's say. Even though you can say it is early days, but it would be good to get a move on as that would be the icing on the digi cake. I am Tim Goodwin, over and out, take care and peace.